how do you get to be NBA commissioner, um, really? Um, do you, I mean, did you grow up saying, I want to be NBA commissioner? I, I didn't grow up wanting to be the commissioner. I don't even think I had any sense of you what went to it Duke, was. But you did not go to Duke on a basketball scholarship. I, I definitely didn't. And, and I, I'm pretty sure that when, even when I went to law school, I, if somebody had asked me what the NBA commissioner did, I would have said he hands out, ring, he hands out rings and, you know, and sets the schedule. I wouldn't really have un even understood the job. So you graduated from the University of Chicago Law School. You clerked for a federal judge. I did. Then you went to Cravath, Swain & Moore, a well-known Wall Street firm. And then how did you go from there to the NBA? Uh, because a lot of law young lawyers who are not happy practicing law would love to go work for the commissioner of the NBA. How I, did you do I, that? I, honestly, I got incredibly lucky. I, um, I had worked at Cravath for about two years and decided that I, I was working. One of, at the time, one of um, Cravath's big clients was Time Warner, and I was doing, working on a lot of media cases and at the time for HBO in particular, and I became fascinated with the media business. And uh, while I was working on a particular litigation, I was following what was happening in sports media and, and this, the move of sports to cable television, really, you know, and it was Ted Turner in essence, through TBS and then TNT, who was leading that charge. And um, David Stern, um, then the commissioner, was at the forefront of that movement. And David Stern had worked at Proskauer in New York, which was the same law firm that my father had worked at. And I didn't know David, but I wrote him a letter and asked him if he could give me some advice about transitioning from law into a media job at the time, having written the letter, not even thinking about working at the NBA or understanding what, that, that this was something I could do at the NBA. Um, to make a long story short, he gave me, he, he you was. know, this is pre-email. He, 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 I wrote him a letter, an old-fashioned letter. His assistant called me a few weeks later, said he can see you on whatever date. I went over, I met with him for a half hour. He gave me some advice, which I didn't follow. Right. And, and then about a month later, he called me and he said, what are you up to? And he said, I have an idea. And after a series of meetings, he hired me as his assistant. And that was my first now, job. Now, if you got NBA. a letter from a young lawyer today, what would you seek that I'd, kind of I'd advice? I'd pass it to our HR department. <laughs> and, uh, all right, so David Stern, uh, David Stern was a spectacular commissioner by everybody's account. He did it for 30 years, and I think he retired when he was like 72. So were you, when he was 65, 66, 67, 68, 69, 70, did you say, David, maybe I'm ready? Did you ever give him a little push, or how did that happen? Never, never, never. And, and again, I was, I, being commissioner of the NBA is my sixth job at the NBA, and so for five of those jobs, I worked directly for David. And he gave me enormous opportunities, a brilliant guy. Um, I ended up running a, a, an entity called NBA Entertainment. I was interested in the media business, sort of the, the television and media, and then became the internet arm of the NBA. Many years later, I became the deputy commissioner of the NBA, but ultimately, you know, David could recommend me, but it required the, the, right. the team owners voting me. That's how the commissioner is determined. And he sort of set his own timeline for when he right. was going to step down. And I think also I was very fortunate that the league was in great shape at that moment. I assume there could have been a scenario where if things weren't going so well, they might have looked outside the NBA. But again, I, I, I yeah. owe a lot to David, and I was very fortunate to be in that job.